Beth don't care that y'all hear this. Ooh, we, we got some drama in the families and friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got wives stepping out on their husbands and taking the kids and grandparents going and getting the kids. We got all kinds of stuff, y'all. It's amazing. That's pretty good. Wow. Rah. Hey, y'all, Beth can keep it stirred up. Whatever. She gets on that phone. Let me tell you what she does. Bobby. This is Beth. Beth, you know what it is. But, Bobby, but, really? You want to go there? Beth goes, no, they didn't. No, she didn't. No, Bobby's laying there all sleeping. Hey, hey, hey. He won't listen to me. Beth, it's not sleeping. It's, it's No, and it's, then when I give him what's going on, he jerked them headphones off and that CPAP machine off so he could hear. And them eyes was all red and glassy. But he wanted Beth, to is there not a dish to be cleaned in this house somewhere? You just you. leave me alone. Unbelievable. Jeez. Do y'all put up with this with y'all's spouse? This is Beth. All right, so oh, let's see what we're doing. Huh? Oh. Uh, okay, lots of stuff to talk about. Today. Hey, you throw one more thing at me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you know, I don't. All right, let's see how we're doing today. Got a lot to talk about. Y'all, I'm exhausted from yesterday. What a, you know, Beth thinks that I'm just lazy. I sleep till lunch and don't do anything. But yesterday was, I was tired after we got finished with our little gym session yesterday. Bobby, my gosh. Well, it's it's intellectual, Beth. You don't see the calories I'm burning uh, while while I'm in the thought process. That's your problem. You're in the worried about what is going to go wrong process. Thirty-seven. Your brain burns more calories than any other part of your body. Ken says my body burns more calories than any part of my body, Beth. Your so brain. Your brain. brain. Oh, what did yeah. I say? My Body and body. It's my brain. Body brain body. is dead when you sleep all them hours. Beth, Beth, do you not have like some soap opera to watch or something? Okay, y'all. So we're up today. We're moving on now. To the east side. To a apartment in the sky. Hey, honestly, Beth, it makes me uncomfortable when you're sitting over the top of the stairway. Can you like go and let me alone just for a little bit? All right, 22 and 52 is our deltas and our thetas. 22 and 52. 22 and 52. So we're about what we were yesterday. Some of our theta came in as profit. Uh, VIX, last I looked, y'all, was 19. We'll check that in a minute. So that's going to make our thing go from 35 to 30. So let's see what our buying power is today. Buying power is 1209. Fix is 19.4. 19.4. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're a little heavy on VIX with a 19, you know, a little heavy on our buying power. So, you know, really I'm halfway, not halfway throttle. I'm now my theta goes from 0.3 to 0.2. So I'm at 0.14. So this count really looks really, really good. Nothing to do with it. There's no trade to put on. There's no anything. Now, of course. If, if some of you, as we talked about my hypothesis, are going to push this a little, you can still push that to 35 with a little lower VIX. I would probably caution against it. I think we've got a great system here. I don't know that there's any need to, to change anything. So let's look at this account. Since we're not going to do anything today, let's just see how we're doing in comparison. And this is the problem that we have, though, that we talked about a lot yesterday, was envy, right? We look at the market, market's outperforming us, and we have a little envy. We're going to outperform the market when the market does go down. So we're going to be fine. So let's go to our realized uh, thing here. And let's see if we can update this. So since we started, the S&P is up 10.55%. We're up 4.7%. So we're up 4.7% when we started recording. And we started recording on this one on October the 13th. So we're talking about a month and a half. So in a month and a half, we're up 4%. So it's a little difficult to say that the market's up 10%. But we'll go, yeah, we're fine, but. We're really, really good. I just don't envy the market. Don't envy it. Celebrate your 4.7, which is really, really good. Okay? Because y'all know markets go down. And it's going to go down. It's not finished yet. So we're going to outperform it during those times. And I think we're going to outperform it on a long-term basis. That's, that's my assumption. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm going to follow the plan. All right, let's go to the second account. Second account is yeah, 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 yeah. What are y'all chatting about? Uh, Gordon says hi to Beth. I don't know if she's still in here. Matt says hey to her all the time. Beth's always asking how Matt is. Now she'll probably say, how's Gordon doing? She's always asking about Matt. All right, so let's uh, let's see how much money we got in this little account. Hopefully it's up too, so we can play the Jefferson's game. 
27577. 27577. Let's see how we do it here. 27. Uh-oh. 27577. Y'all know what that means. Praise the Lord Jesus. We'll get to play it again. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. All right, let's get our Greeks. We've got to take our groups off. Don't include your little, uh, what do you call this stuff that Ed's got to sing, right? Our T bills. We just got to go, my belts was here, our 10, and say 28, 10, 28. 10, probably looks good. 28. And you see, this one automatically updates my VIX every day. So I don't have to do anything. Uh oh, I forgot. To, you got to make it permanent, though, right? You got to permanentize it. So let's permanentize this by typing in 19. All right, so look at this, y'all. We barely got enough theta in here. Let's see how the spine power is doing today. This will be curious. Curious. 10, 4, 30. Hmm. That's going to be a little tight. In. 10, 4, 30. Beth, can you make me a class for coffee, please? Yeah. All right, so we're a little heavy. A little heavy. Or am I comfortable with the risk going into the weekend? The answer is yes, because I'm sweet Bobby. My deltas are way in control. My theta is at the bottom range, right? We always want to keep 0.1 theta, so I barely got enough gas in the tank. And the fact that I'm at 37% buying power is not a big deal to me. So I'm comfortable. So there's no trade to put on today. There's really nothing to do. Just kind of a slow day. I'm just taking my money. I should be making $28, $30 every day. How much do we make overnight? We made $56. I like it. And y'all, I hate to say this, for the first time, we are profitable in our team. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means from the time we started tracking this, we're profitable. Now, remember when we started back in, uh, you know, you said we're at 30. Yeah, I've taken some money out. Y'all remember I had to pay a, a $300 fee somewhere. I had to pay some Delaware corporation fee. Uh, so I took some fees out of here, took some stuff out of here. So, but with that, we're finally profitable on the account. Keep in mind, we were doing other stuff way back here. We were still doing SPX and we were doing butterflies and all kinds of other trades. So in these trades, how are we doing? With just our 111 universe, we're up $4,342.25 after commissions. In this time, how has the market done and how have we done? We are up 0.10%, the market's down. Had we only done 111 stuff, we'd be up significantly. So I, I, but I want y'all to know, I don't, I don't ever want to hide that from you. I spend too much time telling y'all that, but I never know who's watching this video for the first time. I don't want y'all to think we're just running gangbusters. Now, if we were to actually look from January 1st, we're down. Why are we down? Because we were in hedge fundies, excellent, excellent adventure and aim on TQQs and all that stuff. But that's the past. We have moved forward. We've moved forward from that. Uh, I did add something else yesterday to the old spreadsheet. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to add anything, but I thought it was cool. So all I wanted to do is I kind of want to know how much premium I'm selling every month too, right? I like to know what the theta is, you know, what our running theta is per month. But I also want to know, hey, how much premium have I sold this month? So I'm putting that in there as a metric. Oh, also, if you have the new spreadsheet, there is one error that took me about two hours yesterday because I go, this number was not the same as this number. And y'all, it flipped me out. So I spent tedious time. Best like, are you coming down? Are you coming down? And I was like, I got to finish this, Beth. I got to finish this. All of these numbers were not adding up to the same thing. So I went through every week, y'all. And the problem is this. If you get to this week 37, you're going to see that you've got two of the 1121 and 1127 weeks. There's one of these two weeks that, that repeats itself. So I had to fix that formula. So you're probably in the new spreadsheet going to see that same thing. It's not going to be that big. But you might see an identical number over here for two weeks, and it's going to be the same week. So it's not it's not a big deal. But it, it, if this if my spreadsheet's off a penny, I can't sleep. I, it's got to be correct. So I corrected it. All right. Now with that, well, how do we fix it? That's a good question. So you'll go here, and I need to see it again. And you'll see that the formula. What here's what you. If I'm hoping it'll let you do, Ken is find the week before it messes up. And all you got to do is go here and double click. I'm hoping that'll let y'all do it. If it doesn't, 
then we need to talk about it. It's, 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 it's a mild thing. Your number is going to be off just a little bit. But what I could do, and I hate doing this, is I could, I know y'all are getting all this stuff transferred in, but I guess I could post a link to this now fix. Uh, but see if you can fix it. All you got to do is copy this formula down all the way, and it'll, it'll take care of it. So if I double click there, that fixes the formula all the way down. So it was just the fact that, who the crap is this? Oh, there it goes. It fixes it. But y'all, y'all tell me what it does, and if we have to have a special session to fix it or see if we can fix it, we'll we'll do it. We'll, we'll do something. All right. So, is there anything to do in this account, y'all? Well, let's look. No, 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 no. I'm going the weekend. I've got enough pay. So, some of y'all would say, Bobby, you're too heavy here. But what should I do? Because my theta is is barely at the minimum. Y'all only got 28 theta, so I don't think I'm taking too much risk. So, I'm gonna go on the weekend just fine. What could you do if you're not? willing to take the risk here's what you do let me show you what you could do is go into your naked puts right and you could uh look at these 14 ones and you can say okay i'm gonna take this one off right take two of them off take one of them off at 14 days it's 97 percent profitable take you 107 dollars in profit and be done with it. i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that because i'm comfortable with the risk you can do it okay so I just want to make sure that y'all know how to do it. So let's look at the IRA again. The IRA is, oh, we had Chinese for lunch, y'all. It was so good. 106004. Y'all, we know we played the Jeffersons here. We ain't been to 106. Look at us. 106004. Oh, behave my heart. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To the east side. To the east This account, we can truly say we are up four thousand three hundred fifteen dollars and sixteen cents since we started this little campaign on March the twenty third, right? So we don't have as much junk going on in this account. We kept it kind of pure to the cause. Now, so we've made forty three hundred dollars in net lit profit. How have we done with realized returns, y'all? Here. It does show us that we've done some stupid stuff, though, because you and I have $8,640.85 in profits in these 111 trades. Now, that is remarkable. And look, how is the market doing compared to us? Well, in the time that we're doing a thing, the market's down 9%. We're up 4%. This, ladies and gentlemen, is called alpha. Alpha. And that's what I think we're going to have on a long-term basis what I think we're going to, I think we're going to be outperformers of the S&P 500. But what do I know? Because we've out underperformed the last two months. So I'm just letting y'all know, trying to keep it real with y'all. Look at all these profitable trades, y'all. Look at all the, I mean, look, back in March when you and I started, what's this? Look, look at the green, look at the red, look at the green, look at the, I mean, where else can you do this? I mean, this is incredible. All right, so let's record our little uh, ratios. Let's don't brag too much. So we know the VIX is 19. I don't have the new spreadsheet over here with all the cool bells and whistles. And let's see how we're doing over here. So Bobby Beth, so uh, got to take your groups off. And let's see how we're doing over here. So over here, we're at 30 and 79. 30, 79. Beautiful. I can't keep enough 30 and what is that, 79? I can't keep enough gas in the tank, dang it. Look at this. But I'm doing well. Let's see how much our buying power is today. Buying power is 36,466. 36,466. 36,466. All right. So there is a good chance we're going to have conflicting information. What is the conflicting information? The conflicting information is we are low on theta and we'll touch high on buying power. Touch high on buying power. Now, if Evan is in the room, Evan would say, Bobby, there is another thing that we can do. In my spreadsheet, my green and reds are reverse. Ken, did you do that on purpose? Or are you like, is this like a psychological thing that you're trying to? Oh, no, it's, uh, uh, I haven't ever used your spreadsheets because I oh. kind of didn't understand where your mind was with it. And I'm not, by my uh, own nature, I'm not too crazy about uh, tracking each individual tray. I've done that before and it drives me nuts. But you had that, you had this page and the Netlick page, and there's a couple others I use. They're the only pages. I just started using them, and I oh, love good. it. Yeah, good. Yeah, I love and, it. 
And so I think that's what Stacy's doing too, right? Stacy's like, look, Bobby, I got all these different kinds of trades. I don't record every trade. Yeah. So what y'all do is I would hide this. What's this, y'all? You just right click and hide and right click and hide the micro, hide anything that you don't use, make it really clean. And if all, all you got to do at the portfolio level is this page, record your net lick every day or once yeah. a week or twice, however you want to do it, and then record your grapes and shells. Be done with it. And you should be able to run any portfolio doing uh strangles and straddles or credit spreads any short premium strategy you should be able to run with this page this is the yeah. this is the master page here so that's good and i want to make sure people know that you don't have to list every trade remember in the tasty works account we don't record anything we just we just use those two but you can still use the realized returns tab to show you here it won't record it up here but it, it you know put what the spy was on the day that you started and then uh, this will automatically update anytime you hit refresh and it'll take whatever your net lick is and it'll tell you how you're doing in relation to the SP 500. Well, that's cool. The answer to your question is that I'm, I, uh, I'm consistently over trading. That's why yeah. my buying power is yeah. red. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's a question I want to ask everybody is when, let's say from Veterans Day on to the end of the month, did uh, my buying power usage shot up, but I haven't placed a trade in 10 days because my my buying power is in the red. So it's just been changes in the span margin. Do, did anybody else notice that your buying power was hot, was reduced uh, during the holiday season? And that's because of volatility and all that. And then, you know, that was one thing I wanted to ask. And then the other thing that's red is that my fate is too high for my account size. And uh, so that'll eventually go away as, yeah, as, as they go on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so and that's I've why I kind of- Ken, I've certainly noticed that buying power, I mean, look, I'm, I'm blue over here, but I'm red over here. That makes no sense, right? Really? So yeah, yeah. And, and here's what really makes it make no sense is the VIX has done nothing but go down. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's they're increasing buying power. So, it, so it's gotta be something that the- the brokerage or the market maker, somebody is is doing something. Because watch VIX, y'all. VIX has been nothing but but damn. Look, and our buying power is going up. Yeah, that you know. So it's kind of strange. So we're we're dealing with it. Right? We're dealing with it. They're stretching our buying power a little bit. That's fine. That makes them. More I'm fun. at ninety two percent, but I'm not freaked out. Oh yeah, you're not freaked out, and I'm not freaked out at thirty four percent. I'm like, well, oh, we're all good. Look, my fate is low. And even in this account, I mean, I'm probably going to beef my theta up going into the weekend. You know, even though I'm at 34%, I'm kind of like, you know, we're on that bubble of 30 to 35%. So I'm going to give myself permission to put on a trade in this account. And I don't have to, but I'm going to because I want to beef my theta up a little bit going into the weekend and uh, be fine with that. Oh, let me show you another thing. Hey, John, yes. Uh, what question do you have about the uh, weekly premium tab? Let me go to the one that's fixed with all the bells and whistles so we make sure. And yeah, maybe thank I can. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I put in the new, the latest spreadsheet that we've got in the Muscatine Mafia. Um, and I imported data beginning October 31st and right. all the trades that I had entered since or that closes after whatever. Mm -hmm. And I just noticed today, since I've only been in about a week now, um, I went to the weekly premium tab. And just a couple of things. First of all, my week one starts 1125. And I'm not sure what determines that start date, but that of course is a Friday. So that wouldn't be my choice. Yeah. So what I would do is, uh, and this is something I noticed last night too. So it's good, John, we're talking about. It. Make your start day here, right? So you're going to put your start day here to start your campaign and start this on a Monday. So if you actually started trading on a Wednesday or Thursday, make your start day a Monday so that your little weeks are kind of calendar weeks. So this goes Monday through Sunday, Monday through Sunday, Monday through okay, Sunday. Bobby, so here's, here's where you change it. Hold on, hold on. Let me get back on the screen here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have an in row five there. You got a start date and you got a column to put in. Uh-huh. Yep. I don't see that on my spreadsheet. Oh, really? I don't see, I don't no. see the field that says start date and I don't have the entry. Oh, really? Did you get yeah. the brand new spreadsheet? Son? Yeah, I, mean, I, think I, I think I even waited to the very last one that you sent out. We were going like the 25th, 27th, 29th, whatever. 
Hey, after uh, we cut the record button on, can you share your screen or something with us and let's kind of look and see what we can do? Yeah. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that for you. I mean, what if yeah. that's a fix? Uh, the rest of y'all that have the new spreadsheet, look and see if y'all see that. Now, is is look over here. Do you see one, two, three, four, and five? Is five hidden? Yeah, Let's no, see. I <laughs> that was yeah, that's the first thing. Let me go back to my own now. Let's Hold make on. sure Let's five isn't hidden and we can Yeah, I went back it. to my own. So I have a percentage in in D. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta go to the left. Look, this button here, go all yeah. the way to the left. I bet it's not showing all the way to the left. There you all go. All right. You just solved all my problems. I just had to scroll to the left. Wait line. a minute. Will you say that out loud? Beth, listen to this. John says I solved all his problem. <laughs> well. You take that, the... woman. Now give me some coffee. <laughs> Y'all know Beth and I pick at each other, right? I mean, yeah, I, I got your back. Y'all know I'm I got you her. Back. I appreciate you. Oh, that okay. makes me so better. Well, I know where to change it now. Just put in the start date that I want to put in. Yeah, so and then Matt put the end date in. like it's the end of the year, you know? Yep. Yep, and yep. then what you'll do is you'll save another copy at the first of the year, clear all your data out, and then this would be like one, whatever the first Monday is right, of the year. So it'll be one, uh, two. Yeah, one, two yep. for your new. All right. Well, That's I apologize job, for uh, slowing oh, no, the class no, 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 down no. here. Oh, you ain't <laughs> slowing us down, baby. We good. We fat and happy. That's what we do here. All right. So I don't know if we'll put a trade on here or not. Now, here's the cool part. Y'all ready for this? Well, that's this. That's Ed. Remember, Ed? Is Ed even here? Or is he on the phone with Don Coffin? Ed, are you in here? Hey, I'm here. Okay. Ed, Ed has dropped me for Don all of a sudden. So that's fine. <laughs> so we were going to talk about our little, uh, what we call Black Swan or Sweet Bobby Hedge, uh, just to get under Don Bertino's skin so he can try to get me off YouTube again. So let's go to the SBH break even. We sold a put a time ago and we sold the little puppy for $15.50. So I wanted to figure out what we could buy our loan for in order to set up our sweet Bobby hedge. So we figured out that if I can do it, uh, if I can set L2 to a value of zero by changing F2, that as long as I can buy my two loans at $6.31, then this trade will be a break even with me selling the put, harvesting the put at 93 cents, which would be 94% of its value, I can sell the loans and have on a free hedge. So let's go and look and see if we can sell that one for 670. We could yesterday. Now the market is down a touch. Let's see if we can do it today. So let's go to our sweet Bobby hedge, see where he's at, and we'll complete this hedge. So, uh, Sweet Bobby Hedge, here he is. So, he is up $45, right? And this is the 49-day 3,400 put. 39, what was it? 49, I can't even remember. 49 days, 3,400. So, here's 4,900. So, let's find the 3,400 put. Here he is, right? This is the one I started a hedge on. So 3,400 starting for 1550. So can we buy two of 50 points down for less than, what was it saying that we needed to break even? 670? Let's see. Yeah, we got to bring it 670 to, to make it break even. And it looks like we might could buy two of these for 550. Why don't we complete our hedge out? See if we can complete it at 550. Costing me $57. Come on, baby, feel me. Feel me. Everybody's at the Hamptons or Lake Wee Dowie if you're in Alabama. I know for y'all ritzy people. Okay, so we got filled at 575. So let's see what this is going to look like. So now we were able to buy our loans at 575, which means this trade, y'all, even with the harvest, is going to be profitable $9.47. Well, what does she look like? Let's see what she looks like. So now I got to put him in the hedge. So let's go down here, unallocated. Move this to the Sweet Bobby hedge. Um, all right, so here they are. So now we got the what do you call 3,400, 3,350. Let's go look at them on the analyze tab because y'all gonna love this. Here they are. Let me delete all this garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Oh. 
I, y'all, I don't, I don't ever hit y'all up for money or anything. I don't like being that person, but I got to tell y'all something. If y'all are not in Muscadine Mafia, y'all need to tell your spouse to get you in Muscadine Mafia. We had a session yesterday that was just pure gold, but it was in depth. I was so tired after we finished it. It was a brain, and, you know, it was really good though. So, Y'all need to be in those sessions. Those are mastermind sessions. We, I mean, we go through the nuts and bolts. We do the analyze tab. We, it's really good. I think y'all would enjoy it. All right, so let's go find it. Let's see if I take everything off. Where is my 3,400? That's not for me. Let me find them. 34. Y'all help me find them. I think it's in this other expiration. Wait, here it is. 3,400. 3,400, so there's one, and 3,350, there they are. Make sure I get the right one. So we sold one for 1,550, and we just bought these two for 575. Y'all, there she is, Miss America. So this thing, if if the market drops, y'all, on something I put together that's going to be $9 profitable come hell or high water, and the market drops 20%, oh, sweet Bobby is going to be up Seven hundred seventy-four percent, seven hundred seventy-four dollars. But there's a problem with that. It does not take into account the sweet, sweet volatility that will happen in the event of that swell. So let's look what that looks like on a twenty percent down move. And this is why we call it the sweet bobby hedge. What's this? When that puppy goes down to twenty percent, y'all look at these numbers down here. If the vex gets close to fifty-one or sixty-one, y'all. On a 20% move down, look at us, making $1,600 to $1,800. So something that I was able to put on for, say it with me, ladies and gentlemen, free. That's sweet. God, that's good. God, that is good. Any questions about that? Questions about that? Now, what should I do? Oh, be still. Well, I bought an option, right? Now, where, these are in the 49-day section. So, basically, that option that I sold that was naked out there for the 1550 uh, now has zero risk. So, what I need to do is go out in time and say it with me, sell another put. But, Bobby, isn't that a little dangerous? Why? Y'all tell me why. I don't got enough faith in my tank. My buying power went down to 34,817. Let's see what the whole, make sure that's right. Let's see where my, our whole buying power is now. Let's look at our deltas and our thetas. And our, so now my theta is 72,25 deltas. Let's look what it was, 72,25. 72,25. So that went down seven. This went down as well, right? So 72,25. My buying power was 36 something. Now it's, Say it with me. My buying power now is dang it, dang it, thirty four something, almost thirty five. Okay, so why don't we go sell something that uh, replaces that buying power? We were fine there. So I said that thirty five to thirty six. So what, fifteen hundred dollars in buying power? All right. Well, why don't we do this? Let's start another sweet Bobby hedge. You want to? So let's go out longer than the 49 days why don't we go to this oh so sweet 60 days and let's see if we found something out here that kind of was like we did the first one that was around 1550 or so let's see what that looked like so much buying power that take up look at there hello ladies come here often so we go there and i say what if we sold this and we're trying to get 16 how much buying power that gonna take that's gonna take 838 dollars well, I'd be gone. So resulting buying power would be 38647. Uh you know, I mean I could even go up higher than that, couldn't I? You know, I could go what about a 30 3600. 3600? And that one's going at 1875, maybe. Don't get greedy, Bobby. So that's going to take $900 of buying power. Y'all kind of see what I'm saying here, right? It's like, okay, well, I just took off a put and that was taking up so much buying power. Now I could kind of replace that buying power with selling something else. So 
where do I want this, actually? Where do I want my hedge to start kicking in? Okay, this is the eight delta, right? This is the eight delta. So if I wanted this thing to kick in at one standard deviation, where would that be? Well, let's go 60 days out, which would be, hold on a second, John, give me a second. What are my two expirations? There's 14, 28 is two, and then three is 49. What's the 60 day expiration? Can you tell me a date there? January 23rd. We know it's in January. Let's go out 60 days. So let's go to the analyze tab. So this is, let's go out 49 days. So we'll go take this off. Let's see where the standard deviation is for the 49 day option. So here's the standard deviation for 49 day options, right? That's on 1217. Uh, let's see, that's only 15 days. Today is, let's just do this. Today is December the 2nd. So let's go out to January the 2nd. And then if we went out 60 days, it would be what, February 2nd or so? February 2nd. So I'm trying to see where the standard deviation here is. Here we go. Here we go. So that should be one standard deviation for something that is about 60 days from today. Y'all see that? Well, it would be sweet, y'all, if I could have my hedge kick in right here. Everybody with me? For 60 days, I would love if I started having this is going down here to start going up at this particular one standard deviation down there. Well, where is that? Well, that's at the 37.25. Where were we Where were we looking at stuff? 37.25. That might be too high up. 37.25. 37.25. Because y'all were sitting there going, man, Bobby, that's, that's pretty good. Look at this. 37.25. So we said the 37.25. Okay, so I could sell that twenty nine seventy five. It'd be nice to get maybe thirty, thirty and quarter for it. Let's see how much buying power that takes. Look at there, y'all. Just a thousand dollars in buying power. So effectively, I will have sold something to that basically is less buying power than what I just fixed by buying those two puts. Does that make sense? So actually, I could go here. Get me a nice sweet credit 60 days out of 150 bucks after commission. Only use 1,092 in buying power and eventually have me a hedge that is a one standard deviation move to the downside in 60 days. I like it and I'm going to route it, baby. Feel me. Now, y'all don't have to go through all of that, you know, all of that lengthy, uh, I don't have to go to all that length of you know trying to figure that out. But so I basically imp should have improved my buying power today. You know, we'll see if the numbers that they gave us were right. So now I'm going to take that little puppy and I'm going to put him in a sweet bobby hedge. Show my groups. Show my groups, and we're going to put him in a sweet bobby hedge. All right, move to great sweet bobby. Hedge. Now, if y'all are scared of selling something naked out there, I got it. So what could you do? Okay, I sold him in the, uh, well, I sold him out here for 30, what was it? What I was trading for? And this is only if you're scared. I'm not scared. I fear nothing. So I sold him for $30. So let's go find him over here. Let's put him in the calculator. So if I sold him for $30, I could buy something 50 points below him for what? Okay, let's see what that would be. So let's go to what if analysis and go see. So we would set sell L2 to a value of zero by changing the price of my loans. I said by changing the price of my loans, I say, I say board. So that would mean that I would need to buy these things. Look at this, y'all. For thirteen fifty one, or lower, in order to fully, you know, uh, put it in the same cycle. So what you could do is go this. What's this? This is kind of cool, right? Let's go find him. We sold the thirty seven twenty. Let's go find him thirty seven twenty in the sixty day thirty seven twenty. 
Cool. Right? And what you could do is say, okay, well, let's buy something, you know, 30 days out in, I guess 30 days in, that would diagonalize here and go ahead and create a diagonal sweet bobby heads. And this is only if you're scared, only if you're nervous. I'm not nervous. So let's go do that. So instead of the 60-day cycle, we could go by two in the, I don't know, 30-day cycle, 28-day cycle. So we know we can buy something here for, to break even, we can buy it for, what was it? We gotta buy something for 13.51 or less in order to make it a break even. So that's how much money we got over here on the ass side, 13.51. So we could go, now what's this y'all? See the fun part about this, watch. If we bought 50 below it, I mean, we're down here at 550, but we just said, hey, we can bump it up. And we could buy something as long as we're buying something in here, right? For $13, then we can really ramp that puppy up. Aha! Uh -huh. Now y'all see how powerful this is. Well, what does that look like? Let's see what that looks like. So let's act like we're buying this one for $13. And we're going to buy two of them, right? So let's analyze the trade. And going to hide position so we're only showing simulations and let's see what we got here just want to make sure that's the only one we got yep all right so now let's show all and let's show that 3720 that we just sold where is she at miss america is that the one we sold it for that, no that's not it that's two of those 3720 so help me find here she is there she is that we just sold for thirty dollars so let's unclick everything i said let's unclick everything and get the 3720 short and the 3810 loans that we're selling so this is a diagonalized sweet body hedge what does she look like let's get my price slices together okay here's this yeah that looks pretty good does that not look good and so check it out. Now I've got a 5% down move. I don't care. I got a 12% down move. I don't care. I got a 20% down move. And old sweet Bobby's going to make $3,021. Hello, ladies. So then you can find plenty of calculator and see what does that look like. So if I sold it for 30 and I could buy these for $13 and I harvest where I normally harvest and harvest this at a dollar eighty, then I would make myself a cool five dollars and twelve cents, even if I don't need the hedge. God, is that good, huh? Where else can you do this stuff? Look at that, y'all. Isn't that sweet? Now, what are the Greeks of the hedge? Let's look at the Greeks of the hedge. Greeks of the hedge are little negative delta, negative theta, positive theta. And $84 in buying power. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? But do I need it? Now, I don't recommend ever going back a second time and update new Greeks, but we're going to do it just for science, just so y'all can see. So now our deltas are 32 and 76. So let's go put that in. 32 and 76. I normally say record your Greeks once and be done with it. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Sometimes I'll go in like right now instead of using, I, I leave those numbers because you told me and I was changing them after I do trades. And you're like, here's you're, what, messing here's up, what it, yeah. you're messing up your metrics. Yeah. It, it, you do this, don't you? So I, go to the next day. Yeah. Leave your current thing alone and go to the, the today's the second. So the fifth and just date it the fifth and put in your same numbers now and then Sunday night or whatever you want to do after the close today, whatever you normally do. I love that. Ed. Go ahead and make those numbers good so your metrics are stable. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. So uh, I could put in 19, but I'm not going to put that I'm in. I'm only second. parroting the words of the master. So hey, I love it. I love it. So our buying power is 35,974. Yeah, this is a good way to compare it, though, right? So let's see what I just did by what I did. 35,974. Look at this, y'all. 
Look what Sweet Bobby did. Sweet Bobby completed a hedge. Now, the problem is it reduced my delta by th my beta by $3. Okay, wait. But look what I was able to do. I reduced my buying power by selling another darn put. And instead of selling it like I did the last one for $15, I moved this one all the way up and sold it for $30. Y'all, that is, that is portfolio management at its best. I reduced my risk here. Check it out. I ain't lying to you. We got about what, five or six hundred dollars in buying power relief. Now I did go down and fade a little bit, but I completed a hedge and I started another hedge. Can you put the 19 in the VIX, please? Yeah. Yep. I improved my metrics here. I kind of stayed the same percentage wise here, reduced that a little bit. Uh, what this basically told me is. I could have sold something closer to the money, right? To kind of keep my fate of the same and my buying power the same. I could have sold something up higher than that 3720 I just sold. So we're starting the second sweet bobby hedge. And so that's the plan is we're going to layer, layer these puppies in. Do I need to do it in a diagonal fashion today? No, not today. Don't need to do it today at all. No need at all. I can leave it just like this. The sweet bobby hedge is is there, it's going to something that's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Now, if you want to guess when you say, well, Bobby, I'm not going to diagonalize mine. I'm going to wait till I can buy back that uh, 50 points under for what do we say, 1350. All right, so here's, you go, how long is that going to take? This is what's so fun, y'all, doing this type of analysis. So let's go find my little 3720 that I sold. So my 3720 that I sold was here. So we've got to say, okay, here's what here it is. So we're trying to buy back a 3670, and we want to buy it for what? 1350 or less, right? Okay, remember 3670. How long will that take? Well, in 11 days, that 3670, all things being equal. The market just kind of tanked just like it is, right? The 3670 in 11 days, should be decayed to seventeen seventy five. Okay, well, probably won't be able to do it in the next eleven days to complete my hedge. All right, so what about sixty to that? What's that? Twenty five days. What would the thirty six seventy be worth in twenty five days? I'm just gonna say. Kind of gives you an idea of how long it's going to take you under normal circumstances to close your hedge. Eight fifty. Is that less than thirteen fifty to be able to put this on? Yes. So I'll probably, good Lord willing, Creek don't rise, be able to complete my hedge in less than twenty five days. Ah, oh, this is powerful, y'all. It's really powerful. So we're gonna since now the VIX is under twenty. Yeah, we're gonna start to layer in more and more and more of these. Heck, I probably could have done two contracts of Sweet Bobby Hedges today. And then we're going to be buying by, back four. And then one day we'll up it to eight. And we'll be buying 16. See how it works? And so we'll just make this little hedge to the downside stronger and stronger and stronger to offset the risk that we have in our normal one one ones and one one twos. But everything still is the same. Everything is made. The decisions are made here. This is where decisions are made. So I love this, Ed. Move that up to your next day so you can compare what your adjustments did, uh, the adjustments that we made today. Very powerful, very powerful. Yeah, because sometimes I want to go in there and I do yeah. one and I'm like, I, re I really need to do another. And I don't really, you know, that it guides me. Look, while I have you, Evans patiently had his hand up. Oh, so. my gosh, I didn't even see Evans' hand up. The gentleman, Evan. We saved the floor. I had originally put my hand up because I actually threw one of these on today and I was wondering if I could share my screen and kind of uh, well, cover yeah. that. Um, but I, I also had an observation and I think that I I, I misunderstood the, the hedge at one point, um, but it kind of gave me a different perspective and something I wanted to run by you and everybody else and kind of see what you thought. So oh, yeah. right if you don't mind, I'll, I'll share that with you real quick. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Give me just a minute. 
y'all, I love how a lot of y'all are like, you know, y'all are getting, um, y'all getting, I don't know, y'all are adding more. This is great. This is what this community is for. It's really good. Can you see my uh, Tastyworks? Yeah. Yeah. Let's All see right. It. Oh, no, I so, see the Valley of Death. Hang on just a second here. Close it. Um, <laughs> so let me uncheck this guy. All right. So go to my activity tab and just looking at the MES positions for the day, um, we can see that I put on a new 112 uh, on the put side and I closed out uh, two, uh, two of my naked puts and then one of the short puts on my debit spread. I put these on about a month ago and I took them off at 90% profit today. So when I took and those so that off- And so that was a what that you closed out? That was the naked or was that a- Yes, so this this right here was my naked my two naked puts. Yep. And then this puts. other put that I closed out was the short put from the put debit spread on that same trip. Which leaves you only with a long put that is great, great uh, insurance for the next 28 days. Correct. Yep. So with that, I said, okay, um, I, I went out to the 60 day expiration here. Beautiful. And I bought, or sorry, I, I sold one put. Um, and I did that 50 points above my remaining long put. So with that being said, my remaining long put was at 3480. Mm -hmm. uh, and it had 28 days to go. So that was kind of my, my protection there. And I went out to 60 days and put on the 3530. Oh, that's and that beautiful. gives us this risk profile here that we're looking at. This is deceptive because it doesn't account for the two puts that we sold and the other short put, right? Yeah. But the reason that I liked this is because it caps our downside loss to a, a very reasonable uh, amount, right? So oh, like yeah. we talked about earlier, you have that protection. Uh, you're also only 50 points wide, which is great. Mm -hmm. The uh, thing that I misunderstood, but I, I think it might kind of work in our favor is where we purchase our next um, two puts, right? So in say 10, 15, 20 days, I was under the impression that I would be purchasing them 50 points lower yes, instead of 50 points higher. The example you were just looking at, you said 50 points higher. I don't know if you misspoke. I misspoke, yeah. You want to get the, the long puts 50 points lower. Okay, so with that being said, our, our long puts 50 points lower I'll check those would give us this as a risk profile. Yeah, there you go. And that, so that was my understanding of the, the hedge. And just a second ago, when you were purchasing them 50 points higher, I was like, wait. So I, I think that's why you were, you're thinking about taking 25 plus days uh, to, to be able to get your two longs on. I think you should be a lot closer to 10 like you were on this last head. Yeah, I think it took me like 11 days to get filled in this other one, right. which was kind of cool. Yeah, and here's the thing, right? So the the ones that I showed diagonally, you can purchase your loans higher than your shorts if you're doing it diagonally because you can do it, uh, you know, they're cheaper in the shorter expiration. So I'm not necessarily, if I were to diagonalize this today, I don't have to look for the put and it's 50 points below. I Correct. could simply, yeah, I could, you know, put them anyway. But yeah, I see what you're saying. And if I, I, I figured same, this would be. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just going to say, I figured this would be something worth showing everybody since some people are, are visual learners. And I just put this on today and I had all of the, the numbers uh, right here. And we were talking about the, the Sweet Bobby Hedge. So I, it all kind of worked well together. Um, yeah, that's great. So it just goes to show why we we aren't too worried about putting that naked put on because you have that one long put from the put debit spread, assuming you took one off that day. Yeah. So, so as long as you have a, a, a long put and a, a short put uh, within a, a relative um, close range to each other, then your your risk is not insane to the downside. So let's let's summarize what Evan has done, y'all, because this is really brilliant. So Evan has closed a short put of a put debit spread at about 30 days out. That gives him nothing but a long put because he's also closed the naked put that was associated with that one one two. So he's left with nothing but a long put. 
So he, without fear, goes out 60 days and sells a naked put that is covered by the long put in the 28-day cycle. We think it will take less than 25 days for him to be able to buy the put in that 60-day expiration, 50 points below where he sold the put today. So he's sitting there going, well, screw that. I've got no risk. Really? I mean, I don't have a lot of risk to the downside because he's already got a hedge on. You see how beautiful that is? Y'all see how this is just the, I don't know, y'all. It's just, I hope y'all are getting this. I really do. Now, we also brought in credit with the long put for our put debt spread and then the two short puts that we, the, the two naked puts that we sold. So you've, you've brought in, or, or sorry, you, you've received a credit for the short put in the put debt spread and the two naked puts that we sold. Mm -hmm. uh, so you really don't have any risk. I know that the risk profile makes it look terrible because it doesn't show the 90% profit that I took on those three puts. Uh, but that's really not the whole picture. So right, the whole picture kind of is free trade. He's all he's already made the profits from the the naked that he sold in the one one two those two nickels. So he's already taken those profits. And he's taken profits from the. I mean, it's it's really just a, a cool little system. And the thing is, you know, at the same time, Evan is probably doing this too, right? He's still probably making these decisions from here. So why did I not close a naked put at fourteen days out? Okay, y'all know the answer. I could have. Why did I not close a naked put and put debit spread, putting that one on out? Y'all know the answer. The answer is I'm short on theta. So I'm not in the business right now of closing positive theta trades. I'm in the business of putting them on as long as I'm comfortable with the risk. Hey, baby. Comfortable with the risk. Beautiful. You ready for the ball game? We got a ball game tonight, y'all. We're in the semifinals. High school football in December. How about that? We're going to have to get the game like two and a half hours early just to get seen. Because I'm a season ticket holder, and you can't use season tickets for the game. Playoffs. There's no reserve season. Y'all see how sweet this is? It's cool. Evan, you got to be loving this stuff, huh? How's that feel to make that type of decision today? Yeah, it was a pretty effortless one, honestly, when you kind of look at the, the profit you made and the, I guess, quote unquote, risk that you have to take to put that trade on. It makes a lot more sense to, uh, makes a lot more sense to take all three of those short puts off, put one on further out in time and do it for free. So. All right, Mark yeah. says, what did, what did I, what did I buy? You missed what I bought. So I bought the one that was 50 points below my uh, naked, and I bought it for 75. Let's show it. Let's show it. Let's show it here. I bought, I bought the 3350 put, which was 50 below my 3400 put, and I bought it for 575. I had to buy it for under, what was it, 670 for it to break, break even. So I will not lose money on this trade. Now, the only thing that I've got to do and that y'all need to keep in mind of is we do need to avoid that valley of death. We should be closing the naked put of the Sweet Bobby Hedge when 14 days, you know, at, by 14 days, we should take this off. So hopefully we're going to harvest that for a 94% winner, which would be what price? Uh, the one that we sold fifteen dollars, we should be harvesting for ninety cents. Now you can do your GTC orders. You know, hey, I'm gonna close this, create a closing order. We're gonna buy that, close that to sixty cents or ninety cents, whatever it was, and do a uh, GTC order. You know, you can do those type things. Uh, yeah, here it is, GTC. All right, good till canceled. I don't do a lot of those. They're just not necessary. They take up your buying power. They can play havoc on your buying power. So I don't have a lot of them. I'm willing to watch it. Right. Now, it is exciting when those things close at 3 o'clock in the morning. I got to tell you, you know, you get a little alert. And you go, what? what was that? Mark them You know, and you look and you go, aha. I, I, you know, I got rid of my short. So now I've got nothing but a long put left, two long puts left out of the Sweet Bobby Hedge for 14 days. Look at that. That's going to make a lot of noise down in it. Isn't that great? 
All right, what was the other question? All right, John says, with the buying power fixed, the buying power saved for putting on the two loans, $1,000. Your initial step was looking for something that would use thousand dollars in buying power. Yeah, you know, and I, that was just I, I don't y'all don't even have to worry about that level of analysis, right? I was just like, I'd like to do something that's gonna take a little bit less than the buying power I'm saving by closing off the first hedge. By buying those two, that saved me some buying power. And I was like, I kind of like not get where I was to start with. So that's all I was looking at. Not, you don't spend too much time on that. So I was like, I kind of like to be under 36,466. And indeed, I saved some buying power by putting a whole new naked trade on and moving that risk from 49 days out to 60 days. So when we fill this in a few days, maybe when we're at 49 days expiration, we'll close that risk off in the 49 day cycle and we'll move it out to 60 days or more. We'll just keep moving risk farther and farther out in time. Powerful stuff, y'all. Powerful, powerful stuff. Y'all got anything else y'all want to talk about? Anything else? No? Y'all want to do it after school in case y'all got some off the clock questions? We'll do that. And if you have to leave us, we'll see y'all Monday.